Albenberg around 1930 Alban Maria Johannesburg was an Austrian composer of the Second Viennese School. His compositional style combined romantic lyricism with the twelve-tone technique. Although he left a relatively small oeuvre, he is remembered as one of the most important composers of the 20th century for his expressive style encompassing entire worlds of emotion and structure. Berg was born and lived in Vienna. He began to compose only at the age of 15. He studied counterpoint, music theory and harmony with Arnold Schoenberg between 1904 and 1911, and adopted his principles of developing variation and the twelve-tone technique. Berg's major works include the operas Wozzeck and Lulu, the chamber pieces Lyric Suite and Chamber Concerto, as well as a violin concerto. He also composed a number of songs. He is said to have brought more human values to the twelve-tone system, his work seen as more emotional than Schoenberg's. His music had a surface glamour that won him admirers when Schoenberg himself had few. Berg died from sepsis in 1935. Berg was born in Vienna, the third of four children of Joanna and Conrad Berg. His father ran a successful export business, and the family owned several estates in Vienna and the countryside. The family's financial situation turned to the worse after the death of Conrad Berg in 1900, and it particularly affected young Berg, who had to repeat both his sixth and seventh grade to pass the exams. Berg was more interested in literature than music as a child and did not begin to compose until he was 15, when he started to teach himself music. With Marie Schuchel, a maid in the family estate of Berghoff in Carinthia and 15 years his senior, he fathered a daughter, Albine, born December 4, 1902. Berg had little formal music education before he became a student of Arnold Schoenberg in October 1904. With Schoenberg, he studied counterpoint, music theory, and harmony. By 1906 he was studying music full-time, by 1907 he began composition lessons. His student compositions included five drafts for piano sonatas. He also wrote songs, including his seven early songs, three of which were Berg's first publicly performed work in a concert that featured the music of Schoenberg's pupils in Vienna that year. The early sketches eventually culminated in Piano Sonata, Op. 1, it is one of the most formidable first works ever written. Berg studied with Schoenberg for six years until 1911. Among Schoenberg's teaching was the idea that the unity of a musical composition depends upon all its aspects being derived from a single basic idea, this idea was later known as developing variation. Berg passed this on to his students, one of whom, Theodor W. Adorno, stated, the main principle he conveyed was that of variation, everything was supposed to develop out of something else and yet be intrinsically different. The piano sonata is an example, the whole composition is derived from the work's opening Kavartal gesture and its opening phrase. Berg was a part of Vienna's cultural elite during the heady Finn de Siecle period. His circle included the musicians Alexander von Zemlinsky and Franz Schraker, the painter Gustav Klimt, the writer and satirist Karl Kraus, the architect Adolf Luz, and the poet Peter Altenberg. In 1906 Berg met the singer Helene Nowski, daughter of a wealthy family. Despite the outward hostility of her family, the couple married on May 3, 1911. Watch in concert, caricature in died sight, April 6, 1913 and 1913 two of Berg's Altenberg leader were premiered in Vienna conducted by Schoenberg in the infamous Scanal concert. Settings of aphoristic poetic utterances, the songs are accompanied by a very large orchestra. The performance caused a riot, and had to be halted. Berg effectively withdrew the work, and it was not performed in full until 1952. The full score remained unpublished until 1966. From 1915 to 1918 Berg served in the Austro-Hungarian army. During a period of leave in 1917 he accelerated work on his first opera, Wozzeck. After the end of World War I, he settled again in Vienna, where he taught private pupils. He also helped Schoenberg run his Society for Private Musical Performances, which sought to create the ideal environment for the exploration and appreciation of unfamiliar new music by means of open rehearsals. Repeat performances, and the exclusion of professional critics. Berg had a particular interest in the number 23, using it to structure several works. Various suggestions have been made as to the reason for this interest, that he took it from the biorhythms theory of Wilhelm Fleece, in which a 23-day cycle is considered significant, or because he first suffered an asthma attack on the 23rd of the month. In 1924 three excerpts from Wozzeck were performed, which brought Berg his first public success. The opera, which Berg completed in 1922, was first performed on December 14, 1925, when Eric Kleiber conducted the first performance in Berlin. 
Today, Wozzeck is seen as one of the century's most important works. Berg made a start on his second opera, the three-act Lulu, in 1928 but interrupted the work in 1929 for the concert aria Der Wien which he completed that summer. Der Wien presaged Lulu in a number of ways, including vocal style, orchestration, design and text. Other well-known Berg compositions include the lyric suite, which was later shown to employ elaborate ciphers to document a secret love affair, the post Mullerian, three pieces for orchestra, and the chamber concerto for violin, piano, and 13 wind instruments, this latter is written so conscientiously that Pierre Boulez has called it Berg's strictest composition and it, too, is permeated by ciphers and posthumously disclosed hidden programs. Sketch of Alban Berg by Emil Stump Life for the musical world was becoming increasingly difficult in the 1930s both in Vienna and Germany due to the rising tide of anti-Semitism and the Nazi cultural ideology that denounced modernity. Even to have an association with someone who was Jewish could lead to denunciation, and Berg's crime was to have studied with the Jewish composer Arnold Schoenberg. Berg found that opportunities for his work to be performed in Germany were becoming rare, and eventually his music was proscribed and placed on the list of degenerate music. In 1932 Berg and his wife acquired an isolated lodge, the vault house on the southern shore of the Vordersee, near Schieffling MC in Carinthia, where he was able to work in seclusion, mainly on Lulu and the Violin Concerto. At the end of 1934, Berg became involved in the political intrigues around finding a replacement for Clemens Krauss as director of the Vienna State Opera. As more of the performances of his work in Germany were cancelled by the Nazis, who had come to power in early 1933, he needed to ensure the new director would be an advocate for modernist music. Originally, the premiere of Lulu had been planned for the Berlin State Opera, where Eric Kleiber continued to champion his music and had conducted the premiere of Wozzeck in 1925. But now this was looking increasingly uncertain, and Lulu was rejected by the Berlin authorities in the spring of 1934. Kleiber's production of the Lulu Symphonic Suite on November 30, 1934 in Berlin was also the occasion of his resignation in protest at the extent of conflation of culture with politics. Even in Vienna, the opportunities for the Vienna School of Musicians was dwindling. Berg had interrupted the orchestration of Lulu because of an unexpected commission from the Russian-American violinist Louis Krasner for a violin concerto. This profoundly elegiac work, composed at unaccustomed speed and posthumously premiered, has become Berg's best-known and most beloved composition. Like much of his mature work, it employs an idiosyncratic adaptation of Schoenberg's dodecaphonic or twelve-tone technique that enables the composer to produce passages openly evoking tonality. Including quotations from historical tone music, such as a Bach chorale and a Corinthian folk song. The violin concerto was dedicated to the memory of an angel, Manon Gropius, the deceased daughter of architect Walter Gropius and Alma Mahler. Berg died aged 50 in Vienna, on Christmas Eve 1935, from blood poisoning apparently caused by a furuncle on his back, induced by an insect sting that occurred in November. He was buried at the Hyatzing Cemetery in Vienna. Before he died, Berg had completed the orchestration of only the first two of the three acts of Lulu. The completed acts were successfully premiered in Zurich in 1937. For personal reasons Helene Berg subsequently imposed a ban on any attempt to complete the final act, which Berg had in fact completed in short score. An orchestration was therefore commissioned in secret from Friedrich Serha and premiered in Paris only in 1979, soon after Helene Berg's own death. Bust of Alban Berg at Schiefling MC, Corinthia, Austria Berg is remembered as one of the most important composers of the 20th century and the most widely performed opera composer among the Second Viennese School. He is said to have brought more human values to the twelve-tone system, his work seen as more emotional than Schoenberg's. Critically, he is seen as having preserved the Viennese tradition in his music. Berg scholar Douglas Jarman writes in the New Grove Dictionary of Music and Musicians that, as, the 20th century closed, the backward-looking Berg suddenly came as, George, Carroll remarked. To look like its most forward-looking composer. Alban Berg Quartet was a string quartet named after him, active during 1971-2008. to The asteroid 4528 Berg is named after him. Piano Chamber Orchestral Vocal Operas. Thanks for watching.